And it's a real privilege uh, to be here at the GTS Innovation Dialogue 2024. I think one thing that struck me from these conversations was how multi-stakeholder the conversations were. You had people from different countries around the world. Uh, there was references to Global North, Global South. I'm personally from the equator as well. You had people from different backgrounds, people who were focused at the government level, people that were talking about things at the technical level, people that were looking at things from the policy angle and so on. So I think that diversity struck me. Really. This has been super well curated and the rooms were distributed in such a way that people's expertise really shone through. So that way, I think it was a very well curated set of workshops. Things that emerges in the course of research about emerging technology is that often people are confused about how to begin to use them, build them or regulate them. And there is no one perspective that is right. Dialogues like this have a way of convening multiple perspectives as well as stakeholders. They give us an opportunity to show what's worked, what's not, so that whoever's doing it elsewhere can do it better. It was a great uh, day to have here and engage with the different stakeholders and learn more from uh, India experience in implementation of digital transformation in the journal and also on DPI. And one thing I think learned uh, or uh, understood well was the role of DPI in the digital transformation. It's more on government intervention in this area. And one thing that stuck in my mind was DBI in a government, they should not be building a solution rather than an infrastructure so that this infrastructure can be used to build other solutions on top of it. And as a government advisor, and this is a big role that government need to understand very well. And these sessions and implementation of different DBI solutions, such as the ID Adara and the payment UBI, others are very informative. And and the takeaway will be that implementing this uh, solution is, will not be easy. It's a challenge and that the government need to embrace uh, these challenges and it will take a long time. There's no lift dog in, in one day, but rather that it's the process that will go on for a while. Largely for me, dialogue is shorthand for learning an ability to learn from each other, to learn as this technology evolves, to learn as we learn and communicate that more broadly. Uh, so I've said it before, and I think I feel even more strongly now that AI safety really is a, is a team sport. And so uh, these kinds of dialogues uh, give me reason to continue to have faith in team human. Uh, every workshop is a little different. And depending on the specific outcomes, I think, you know, that makes sense, how, how you wanted the workshop to run. I thought it was fairly effective. The topics are huge. Uh, we weren't going to come to any necessary solutions or, or answers, um, but I think it was fairly effective in, in surfacing a lot of the really important questions.